Time for patina. It's time to patina the Cocker Spaniel. So I got my patina set out here. Got my cotton ball, extra patina, because I know I'm gonna have to add it. And I'm gonna throw my gloves on. Protect my hands from the patina, because it does stain and it does burn if you have any cuts or anything in your hand. It's really not good to uh, get it on your skin if at all possible. Better about safety here lately. <laughs> Trying to be. All right. Got my gloves on. Ready to go. Let's patina. Cotton ball. Let it soak up the patina. This is chemical reaction. It's going to be black. I'll go ahead and run this right on down here. Turn the silver black. So up some more. This is the fun part. I love doing this rather than polishing. I still have to polish, but I like doing the patina. It's neat to watch it turn colors. I'll make sure you get the sides. Get it all on there. Rub that in good. Just want to make sure that you get this as clean as you can get it so the patina will take. You got to get all that flux off of there. You got to scrub it really well. I actually washed it twice, scrubbed it really well with the bristle brush. Lathered up that dawn, nice and sudsy. Okay, I'm gonna flip that over. Go ahead and teen along the sides here. Rub that right down in there. Down in there, good. Make sure you cover every little inch of this patina, every little inch of the solder with patina. If you miss a spot, it's going to show. I'm going to change out my, drop that, put some more patina in my cup over here. There. Grab me another cotton ball out. We're going to do the front side. Soak up the patina into the cotton ball. Lay it on there. Soak up some more. Get this nose. Scrub in those pupils there. Pick up every last bit in there. Scrub 
rub it right in there. Sure to get the edges. Sit on there for a couple of minutes. Make sure that it takes well. And I'm going to go over there and wash it off with cold, cold water and patina cleaner. You can use any patina cleaner you like. There's several different brands on the market, or you can use even homemade, which is that's what I use. We use a homemade patina cleaner. Um, there's different recipes. Mine contains sudsy ammonia in it. Um, but there's different patina cleaners you can use. I just rinse it off with water. And then I spray it down with the patina cleaner. And then, again, scrub it with a soft bristle brush. Getting all the little crusties off of there. Just want to make sure that patina really takes well. Backside, and I'm not going to set it back down. That paper sometimes pulls some of the patina away from the seam and gives it an odd color. So I'm just going to go back over here again and make sure that I got everything really well. I'm going to take it over to the sink and clean it up. Give it a good rinse. I'll come back and show it to you when we're all done. And here's the finished product. All cleaned up. It's ready for polishing. There's the front and the back. Nice black patina. But isn't that a cute little sad face? Aww. <laughs> All ready to uh, polish tomorrow. I'm going to let this sit overnight and let the uh, patina kind of cure and dry out and set up. And then I'll polish it. And it'll be a completed project other than some paint right in there.